hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video I am taking you guys book shopping. I went book shopping yesterday in Bath and I had a really great time. I can't guarantee that Ryan had a really great time but we went to loads of bookshops. He's got some clips of me looking for books and I filmed kind of what was in stock at the moment in all the shops. I'm really excited to share it with you and at the end of the video we are going to be doing a book haul because obviously I cannot go book shopping and not buy any books. It's becoming a serious problem because I have a book pile here which um, was just not really necessary. Um, so yeah, I don't even know how many of these were actually on my wish list. Three. Three out of eight. The rest were just impulse purchases. So without further ado, we are going to dive in. I hope you guys enjoy the video and carry on watching. So that was our little day out in Bath yesterday. I had a really good time and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of a little bit of kind of near where I live and sort of seeing what sort of books we have in at the moment. It was just really, really fun. So now it's time for the book haul portion, which I am most excited about. I'm sure you guys are most excited about. So let's dive in to the book haul. I need a serious book buying ban because this is getting ridiculous. So the first two books I'm not actually going to show you and I know that seems really really stupid but they are both books which I am going to be featuring in a different video. I'm basically going to be filming a video where I read Ryan's book picks, sort of like a boyfriend does my book haul um, read with me kind of video. So he picked two books out which I have right here. I haven't actually read the blurbs of either so I will be reading those in that video so make sure you stick around for that because I'm really really excited. I can tell you they both are very similar looking. I'm just going to do a quick quick flash. So yeah I am really really excited. So those are the first two books. I bought. Now moving on to The Works. Now I am a massive The Works fan. I absolutely love The Works. I am on their website pretty much every day just seeing if anything new's come in and I popped in there because I saw these two books the other week and I regretted not buying them. Um, so as soon as I saw them in there I had to pick them up and there was another book as well which I'm not going to lie was definitely an impulse purchase but it sounded really good. So we'll start with that one. So this is Liar's Beach by Katie Katungo, I think that's how you pronounce her name. So it looks like this, it's a really small book which instantly had me kind of in a chokehold because it's just gonna get my Goodreads numbers up, not gonna lie. Um, but on the back it says, a body in the pool, a friend who might be an enemy, a vacation they'll never forget. Lyndon has always felt like an outsider and spending the summer at his best friend's vacation house surrounded by money and privilege is doing nothing to lessen his imposter syndrome. But he soon has bigger concerns than fitting in. There's a body in the pool and everyone's a suspect, including him. 
it just sounds really good. It sounds right up my street. It is literally 275 pages long, so it's really not very big at all, and I'm just I just love having a good short book to pick up, especially if it's kind of getting near the end of the month and I haven't really got many books like read in that month. I like books like this, so I picked this one up. I think this one was about five pounds, so absolute bargain. If I do say so myself, just had to pick that one up. And also from the works, I picked up two more books by the same author and they are by Raven Kennedy and this is Guild and Glint. And I think these are part of quite a big series. We also have Glee and glow on the back so I do need to purchase those as soon as possible. Um, I imagine the works will probably have them at some point which would be really nice because then I can get them all. Um, do I have any idea what this is about? Literally no clue. Um, I saw somebody talk about these on BookTok which by the way I have started a BookTok account so please follow me. I'm really hoping it goes well so yeah follow me it's literally just my name it's linked down below but yeah I think this is a fantasy style situation. I really have no idea. This was definitely an impulse purchase um, but all I heard was that there was a bit of spice in it so I had to pick it up I could be wrong but we have two more books and I just I don't know sometimes I fancy like a good fantasy book so bought those no idea what they're about so we're just gonna move on because I'm just gonna embarrass myself for the fact that I have absolutely no control when it comes to book buying so let's move on to WH Smiths because I love WH Smiths. They have a two for £12 deal on at the moment, which I didn't actually do because I couldn't find another book in that that I didn't have, which it's becoming an issue. Um, but let's start off with the first one. So the first one I picked up was Richard Osman, The Bullet That Missed. Now, I have the first two in this series and I have been wanting to get the third one probably since about Oh, it's got to be December, November time, because I got the other two for Christmas. Um, it came out in hardback. I did not want to buy the hardback because it wouldn't match the rest. And I saw this in WH Smith's the other day, brand new in. So if you guys are waiting for this, go and get it. They have it in now. Um, and yeah, have I read the other two in the series? No, but I am a collector, so had to purchase it. On the back of this one it says it is an ordinary Thursday and things should be finally returning to normal except trouble is never far away when the Thursday murder club is concerned. A decade old cold case leads them to a local news legend and, murder, and a murder with nobody and no answers. Then a new foe pays Elizabeth a visit. Her mission? Kill or be killed? Can the gang solve the mystery and save Elizabeth before the murderer strikes again? Love it. Just a good thriller. Murder mystery. Yeah. I'm just, I'm excited to start the series if I'm honest, I just, I've been looking forward to it for a while, so that is the next one I bought. And the next book I bought from WH Smiths was one which I didn't expect to see, I knew they would have it eventually, um, but I didn't think this book was out until the 11th, and I bought it on the 7th, so it was out a little bit early, and that is Charlie Love and Clichés by Ella Mays. I have four of her other books which all have the same spine, which is really satisfying to me, and I love that she's kept up with that because it makes my bookshelf just look absolutely delightful. I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't actually read the other four of her books yet, but I am really excited to and I just had to get this one to add to the series or collection or whatever it is. Um, this one says on the back, Charlie might work at her dad's company, but that doesn't make her life easy. She's the kind of person who always goes the extra mile for a client, remembers colleagues' birthdays, and arranges a cake, the cake, and yet her dad still favours her sister. So Charlie shouldn't be surprised when her dad brings someone in to manage her and the team. But what does surprise her is that the new boss is her guy. Ooh, that's interesting. The man who she went out with years ago and can never stop thinking about. Charlie wants to hide under the desk, but then she realises she doesn't have to because William doesn't seem to remember her at all. I'm excited to read that. I actually had no idea what that was about, so... I'm looking forward to that one. This one was also, I think it was $8.99. I haven't told you prices of any of the others, I've just realised, but that was $8.99. And the last book I picked up was from Waterstones, and I find Waterstones to be quite overwhelming because of how big it is. Um, and I also find that there are so, like all the books are kind of facing spine forward, so it's really hard to see what's what, if that makes sense. Um, but I was looking in the fiction section, as I do on a regular basis, and I found Four Boys by Penelope Douglas. Now, I love Penelope Douglas's books. I really, really enjoy them. They're definitely not everyone's cup of tea. They are quite spicy, can be quite dark, can be quite descriptive, but I really like them. And this was on my Amazon wish list for a very, very long time. I have honestly no idea what it's about. I literally fell in love with Penelope Douglas, so I put all of their books on my Amazon wish list because I just 
just was obsessed. So this is about Aero and Hawk. And I don't really know what it's about. I don't know whether... Yeah, I literally have no idea. But it's nearly 500 pages so I'm really excited about that um but yeah literally no explanation I just really wanted it so I picked it up and I bought it that's that one <laughs> so that is everything for my come shop with me book haul video I really hope you guys did enjoy let me know down below what you would like to see on this channel anything different anything exciting if you've got any video ideas I would love to know down below obviously as always please don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to follow me on TikTok because I am really going to try to make TikTok work for me so if you haven't followed me please do it's just my name the same as on here or it is down below but yeah I am gonna go. Thank you so so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! Bye.